Hello, everybody, and thank you for checking in. So this is the fourth dreamscape. I kind of remember this from the first time. I kind of binge played this when I got it. And this is where you learn about climbing. Climbing. To fall properly, you need to get high. This instructional video was prepared for everyone who does not feel high enough and is ready to do something about their situation. Climbing is as easy as doing yoga. The major difference being that yoga leaves you where you started, even if done properly. Let's break it down. Raise your hands. Inhale, optional. Approach the obstacle. Lower your hands, grabbing the obstacle. Look down to pull yourself up. Walk forward as you release your hands. Hand release timing is crucial. Releasing too early or too late will not get you high, and you might as well do yoga instead. And there you go. That's climbing. I see this board here. I wonder if we could prop this up and make a shortcut. I haven't actually said this in a video yet, but I got a new microphone before I started recording this series. So if you want, if you go check out some of my still recent but a little bit older videos and compare it, you might hear the difference. That is too far of a jump. Okay. Out of jumping. He looks so strange when he jumps. It's like, <laughs> I can't even explain it. It's just so weird. Climbing is a lot of fun. There's something about it. Oh, there's a remote. Dang it. Yeah, there's something... There's definitely satisfaction to when you climb up on something. There's this... Uh, what's the word? Centrifugal motion that happens when you do it right. And it's almost like a little rush. Alright, let's see what this remote says. get even higher, you need to jump before grabbing the edge. Raise your hands running toward the obstacle. Jump to grab the edge. Lower your hands pulling yourself up. Walk forward releasing the hands. Practice timing and use the momentum. If you don't release hands, you will make a fool of yourself like saying goodbye, shaking hands and walking away without releasing your hand. Etiquette says never do that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, 
You put your arms up and then jump. Ah! Okay. Easier said than done. There we go. It's really not too hard. Like, it is. <laughs> okay. It is, but it's. It is hard, but it's not at the same time. Like, it's hard if you don't get it, but if you get it, you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's one of those things, once you figure it out, it's like, you're good. All right, well, what do we have here? Hmm, see if we can jump up. Without that, probably not. <laughs> no, okay. All right. Let's um, push this. You can do it, Bob. Push it. There you go. I'm just gonna go over here real quick, hopefully not fall. Ooh, that's interesting over there. So it looks like we should be able to jump across. But, oh, oh yeah. There's a rope. Should we try swinging across? Because that's probably not going to be easy at all. That is not the way to get momentum. Where'd the tree go? Okay. Am I gaining any momentum? Probably not. No, that was a big fail. Oh well. So yeah, they, they just put you back. They kind of save some of your progress. Okay. Um, right. So we're gonna put this back. At least I tried. I mean, if it wasn't for that wall being right there, you could swing back and forth and get momentum. I probably could have let go right on the first swing and it would have worked, but I just, I second guessed it. Did they reset it? Oh no, the rope's still swinging. I gonna say, if they reset it, I would try again, but... It's just kind of hanging out in the middle of the air now, so... That's not gonna happen. So, let's try this way. Come on, we could totally do this. We got this. Okay, we're here. Okay, we made it. Yay. Now this looks like it will fall that way if I walk on it. And then... Hold up. I'll just jump up here. And then maybe it'll... Wait, am I stuck? I am stuck.
And maybe it'll stay? Or is it gonna go back? Oh no, can I do it? I didn't quite grab the edge, all right. Okay, now what? Oh, hmm, interesting. Do we climb the tree? No. Can we actually jump on these? And climb them? I don't think so. Hmm. Something's missing. Oh, I think I see. I think I see. <laughs> Come on, Bob. Let go. Push. Does it keep going? I'm not trying to climb, I just want to push. Oh, can I get up there? Carefully, yes. Oh, I don't know if I can make that. That's a long jump. I thought the train cart was going to go further. Oh, we did it. Nice. Nice. Now, this is what happens if you keep pressing spacebar to jump. It's almost like you're floating. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Alright, so here's a house. Is this push or pull? Pull. Alright. Is this our house, maybe? It's a house anyway. I like how I'm politely like trying to shut the door. Like, don't wanna let the bugs in. There we go. Uh do we need to do anything to open that? I suppose you could like break windows and play around with the objects if you really wanted to. But I have Oh! <gasps> Oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I have spent enough time in this roomscape. I don't really. W oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, it looks like the next episode's going to be interesting. I hope you'll come back and see it. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, to say the least. I think that this dreamscape, this next dreamscape will be number five. And when I originally checked this game out, I think this is the point that I got to and then got stuck within this next dreamscape. So look forward to seeing the struggles that are shortly to come. And... Um, <laughs> But for this episode, let me know in the comments down below what do you enjoy most about this series so far. And if you've played this game, if you have any tips for this next dreamscape coming up, let me know in the comments of this episode so that maybe you can be part of helping me get through the next one. And if you do leave me tips on it, I will definitely give you a shout out for giving me a heads up and giving me some hints. But until next time, I really hope that you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And I will see you next time.